The 2022-2023 season of the Gonzaga Symphony Orchestra was my performance debut on the bass trombone, which compared to some of the other brass instruments, I'd spent relatively little time on up to that point. So it definitely was a learning experience. I definitely had and still have a long way to go on the bass trombone, but through a combination of hours spent in the practice room and hours spent next to our tubist Steve in the rehearsal hall, who is first of all a hoot in rehearsals and second of all a monster player, I think it was a really fun and educational experience. I had a great time doing it. I actually have some pretty cool footage of Steve and me cranking away on a big piece we played at a prior concert, but that was a huge piece that I recorded all of front to back and I still need to curate that and edit out the best parts, which is going to take a little while, but I'll get to that as soon as I can. The point being, after all that time spent imprinting this Dennis Wick Zero AL into my face, I was told I was going to be moved to second tenor trombone. I was a little peeved about that at first. I really, really enjoyed playing the bass trombone and cranking the low notes out and sitting next to Steve and joking with him in rehearsals, and now here I was, about to be moved to what I considered to be the most boring seat in the back row, second tenor trombone. But in the end, I figured it was probably a good thing that I was putting my Con 88H to use because first of all, that's not a trombone that deserves to sit around unused, and second of all, I spent way too much for it to sit unused. The reason I was playing second is because our first trombone in the Gonzaga Symphony is historically and traditionally the principal trombone of the Spokane Symphony, John Church. And as you might imagine, the principal trombone of the Spokane Symphony is a hair better maybe a few hairs better actually, than the engineering major who plays trumpet and makes noise on trombone occasionally. So, second tenor it was, and I went into it again with that mentality of being a little bit peeved about being in the most boring seat in the back row, until I learned that for that final concert we would be playing the Berlioz Hungarian March. For those of you who don't know, the Hungarian March bears one of the most famous trombone moments in probably the entire orchestral repertoire. It's an excerpt that shows up on every orchestral audition for every trombonist out there because it's a great test of your technical facility and your consistency of tone across the register. And moreover, this audition excerpt is not actually in the first trombone part, but in the second trombone part, because the second part has an introductory section that the first part does not. And so I, in the second tenor seat, was getting to play the audition excerpt in the flesh, in real life, in context, and that was pretty exciting. Now believe me when I say my performance was not audition level by any means, I am not a competitive trombonist in any sense, but the lucky thing is I did have John Church to my right, and you'll be hearing plenty of him. He has a very penetrating, crystal clear sort of tone quality that I have zero ability at this stage to emulate, but at least it was fun to sit next to him and try and learn a little bit through osmosis. And uh, you'll probably be hearing more of him than me in this recording, so that's probably for the better. Now one more thing before we kick off this highlight reel, if you would like to see the full uncut performance we did of this piece and the run of it that we did the day prior in our dress rehearsal, then please consider going to patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass by following the link either in the top right corner in the card, or in the description, or in the pinned comments of this video. All roads lead to Rome here, it's all the same thing, it's all the Samuel Plays Brass Patreon page. There are a variety of reward tiers there with different perks depending on how much you're able to pledge per month, but as long as you select the $5 tier or up, you'll have access to behind the scenes content on the channel, which includes things like uncut performances and little bonus snippets that my general public viewer base doesn't get to see. Thank you for pledging your support and let's get on with it.
Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to support the creation of bigger and better content on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, have your name featured right here, and a whole host of other perks and benefits, then please consider pledging your support at patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. For now, you can find more videos in the end screen cards to my left.